In this video, I'm gonna cover an overview of the Facebook Business Suite Insights. Now, this is the tool that essentially replaced audience insights on Facebook. If you're new here, my name is Armando and I work with small business owners and entrepreneurs, helping them with online strategies so that they can generate more customers. Now, if that's something that you're interested in, you can click the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that come out. The very first thing that we're gonna do is head on over to the back end of Ads Manager and you wanna click on the hamburger menu on the top left hand corner to expand the tool section there. From the tool section, you can go to um, the section that has the analyze and report option and click on audience insights. Now, another way to get to this tool is to actually just search for Facebook audience insights or to go to the old URL because it's going to link back to this audience section here. Once you're in the back end of their new Facebook Insights, you want to head on over to the bottom left hand corner and make sure that your ad account is the right ad account selected. Uh, and then on the top bar, right above the results, you'll get to choose the pages that you'll want to analyze. One of the things that is really weird and really, you know, it really sucks about this entire situation is the amount of data that they've removed and scaled down from this tool. I'm going to walk you through the entire overview here and, and, and then I'm going to show you kind of like their version of whatever replaced the stuff. So first and foremost, I got to say that the new Facebook Insights tool only reports data on your existing customers meaning those pages and Instagram profiles that are tied to you and to your business account. You're not gonna be able to see public information like, like the insights that were available to us before to build audiences, to kind of look through demographic info, pages, education, that kind of stuff. So at the very beginning, we're looking at an overview here. And from the overview standpoint, I've got my pages selected here. You can obviously filter by date. You can filter by last 28 days, last year, custom, however you want. Right now, this is a previous year. Uh, you can see the results and the reach of your Facebook and Instagram profiles. You can see the content and at a get a snapshot of the amount of uh, reach that those pieces of content had and you can also see information on your existing audiences which is age and gender pretty much if you download this report it basically creates a CSV file with all the information in there with columns and you know then you can sort it out however you want the next thing that I'm going to show you is the results tab and all this is really showing you is just the reach that your Facebook page has and your Instagram profile has there's nothing else that you can do at this point uh, next, I'm going to show you what their content tab looks like. Uh, really, again, you can just filter out by content if you just want to see your ads or you want to see your post or just Facebook or just Instagram. But aside from that, there's not a whole lot more that you can do in this section here. There's no option to click around. There's no option to even analyze this even further. It's just a snapshot of your most recent content, the amount of reach it had, the likes, the comments, the shares, and the link clicks. The next section is the audience section. This is the, essentially the biggest section that replaced audience insights according to Facebook. Now, what you'll notice here is that you have two options, a current audience and a potential audience. Now, the current audience is just that. It just analyzes and gives, gives you audience information on your connected account, meaning your Facebook pages and your Instagram profiles. Nothing that you don't already know. This isn't some groundbreaking revolutionary data. You know basic age and gender and cities, locations of where these people are coming from, and that's it. There's nothing else here that uh, you have access to. You can filter, obviously, by date uh, from the beginning, and that's pretty much it. Now, the second option is the potential audience section. This is what replaced audience insights. And from what you can see, what we can do here is just basically kind of open up this filter section and type in a very limited information in here. So if you remember or you were a user of the old audience insights tool, you had a filter on the left hand side and you can basically choose country, age, demographics, interest, affinity, all this other stuff to build a good profile and to kind of test audiences out. Well, this is what replaced that. So if I click on United States as my filter, I leave my ages broad from 18 to 65, all my genders alone, and let's say that I just pick an industry or a an interest that I want to kind of analyze. I then move away from that filter and this is what I get. Basically, it tells me that my potential is 100 million people. Um, and it also tells me that um, um, age and gender, pretty much 
broad information and it gives me the top cities along with top pages now there is no option to explore more pages there is no affinity score here there is no option to kind of see which other brands or categories these people are connected there's no education information in here there's no you know um other stuff like whether these people are married or single any of that information this is what you get this is what replaced the audience insights tool for facebook which in my opinion this is pretty worthless as in as a marketer as a small business owner this doesn't give me the the data that i need to build really good information to target people you know essentially now if you look at the top pages in here they're pretty broad tasty walmart amazon target uh, the facebook app um, samsung uh, food network they're actually useless because you can't really target any one of those pages and kind of get a good you know um, sort of affinity for the amount of audiences or where they're at now i do have another video that shows you guys how i do this manually after audience insights if you want to check that out i linked it in the comp in the description of this video it kind of shows you how i layer all this using uh, the the data that i already have from facebook and using the layering method that i have as, as well as another tool that i use now one other thing that i should tell you is that if you export this you get no more data um, what you see here is basically what you get in a csv file so even if you were to a, a, able to kind of look through this stuff and add more interest in here um you're not gonna get like you know anything ridiculous this 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 is it right here um it, it kind of sucks uh, but it is what it is now if you click on this filter and you go to see your audiences it's basically taking you to the audience section of facebook where all your saved and custom audiences are at if you click on create an ad it takes you back to the ads manager where you can start from scratch and build your ad from there now like i said i do have another video that's linked in the description of this video that shows you how i use layers along with a spreadsheet that shows me how to identify these different audiences but i wanted to briefly cover um, the tool that i typically default to and this is a tool called interest explore what this tool does is it basically taps into the facebook open graph and their api and it taps into the developers sort of section of facebook so that it identifies audiences that even audience insights uh, didn't have before so for for example if I click on Tom Ferry and I and I search for this now I'm starting to see interests that are related to Tom Ferry uh, that weren't even available in the in the um, audience insights tool as well and I can start to build this profile so this is a really big real estate guy uh, I click on real estate directory real estate pros Brian Buffini all these audiences now start to show up and I can dig deeper into these audiences now I do have another video that goes into more detail on how I use this tool how I build those layered audiences and I also link that in the description of this video but if you want to check this tool out it's called interest explorer and there is a link in there a little disclaimer it is an affiliate link but you don't have to go through the affiliate link if you don't want to totally up to you the only reason I bring this up is because I myself have been using this tool for the better part of the last few years and it's how I build my audiences for my ads and for my clients so if this video was super helpful and if you have any questions leave them in the comments by the way uh, but if it was helpful to you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you guys in the next one